Hello my fellow gerbil lovers and welcome back to the gerbil vine. Thank you all so much for being here, for subscribing to our channel, and for helping us spread around good care here on YouTube. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Bex and I live in Ontario, Canada. I have two gerbils named Jerry and Dusk and we created this channel in hopes of educating and inspiring others on proper gerbil care. We want the best for everyone's gerbils, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Today's video will be focusing on how to pick up your gerbils. Gerbils are sweet and sensitive creatures. They all have different and varying personalities, and this definitely plays a role in handling and working with your gerbils. For example, Dusk is more reserved and shy than Jerry. It took a long time to get to the point where I can scoop both of them up, um, but it definitely took a lot more time and effort working with Dusk. There are many different situations where you may need to be able to pick up your gerbils, and even if they aren't fully tamed, it's important to know how to pick them up as safely as you can. Whether it's an emergency and you need to separate them, or if you need to take one to the vet or even examine it, or even if you just want to clean their tank and need a way to safely remove them, knowing how to handle them is very important. So let's begin with the safest way to pick them up. That is going to be the scooping or the cupping method. This is essentially where you take both of your hands and just scoop them up. Depending on personalities and the progress that you've made in your taming journey, it may take a couple of tries. You just gently place your hands down on either side of the gerbil, creating like a little cup or a wall, and gently lift them up. If your gerbil is wiggly and seems super nervous or anxious, place them back in the enclosure and when they focus their attention back on you, give them a treat. This creates a positive association that after they get picked up, they get a high reward. When attempting to pick up your gerbils, it's important to remember that they are a prey animal. So coming in from above to pick them up is never going to be an ideal situation for them. I do have a topper which is a bit easier as I just pick them up from inside the front door here. Um, I never use the door that's on the top of the cage here um, because you would be coming down from above. If you have a tank and it's on the floor or if you have a tank that's maybe on a stand, you can sit beside the tank or in front of it, getting as low or as close to it as possible, and put your hands in the tank. If your gerbils run away, just leave your hands in there. After they come back out and your hands are already in the tank, then you can practice the cup or the scoop method. Another safe way of picking up your gerbils would be to use a jar or a wrapped bendy bridge or something of that sort, or even a container and have them crawl into it. If you're transporting them somewhere, I highly recommend that you use a lid or that you use your hands to kind of balance over the top of it as some of you may or may not know, gerbils are extremely um, hardy jumpers. Gerbils can be squirmy as well, so you want to make sure that it's as safe for them as possible. If you can't use your hands to pick them up, use an item or something for them to crawl into. You could always throw a treat in the bottom um, so that it's a bit more enticing for them to crawl into. Now that we've discussed safe ways to pick them up, let's discuss unsafe ways to pick up your gerbil. To start off, you should never, ever, ever pick up your gerbils by their tail. Gerbils can actually drop their tails as a defense mechanism to escape predators and it will not grow back. If you pick your gerbil up by the end of their tail, the skin and their fur could easily rip off and you would likely need an emergency vet trip for them to do some sort of surgery or to amputate the tail. This obviously would be extremely traumatic for your gerbils, so it's best to avoid picking them up that way. You should also never pick up your gerbils from above. One of gerbils' main predators in the wild would be birds, so if you come in from above and you grab your gerbils, it's likely that they could try to bite or scratch you in order to protect themselves. This would build a negative association between you and your gerbils, which is something you want to avoid doing. Finally, some other important things to remember when working with your gerbils would be to have clean, scent-free hands. For example, if you have just eaten a peanut butter sandwich, you want to make sure that you're going to wash your hands before you try to put them in the gerbil tank to start working with them. Gerbils have a crazy good sense of smell and unfortunately if they smell food on you they might not be able to tell the difference between what is actual food and what is your finger um, and they might try to nibble you. You should definitely let your gerbils get used to your scent rather than the scent of the food on your hands. If your gerbils are really shy or scared or like to hide a lot of the time and get really spooked whenever you try to interact with them, you can start rubbing your hand on some bedding or on some random paper towel or Kleenex pieces and then put them into their tank. Offering a treat, not from your fingertips, but from higher up on your arm, like say your wrist, will also encourage them to climb higher up into your hand to get the treat and they may even sit in your hand while eating it, which is just as adorable as it sounds. So that concludes our video on how to safely pick up your gerbils. Like I mentioned earlier, gerbils are sensitive creatures with varying personalities. 
It definitely plays a big role on how you're going to be able to handle and work with your gerbils. In order to get them used to you as fast as possible, spend as much time as you can with your hands in the tank. And don't always try to pick them up. Let them crawl on you or touch you without you trying to grab them or scoop them up. We wish you all the best of luck. If you have any personal tips and tricks that have worked for you, drop them down below and share them with our growing gerbil community. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, make sure that you like and subscribe so that you never miss our uploads. Thank you. Bye.